So I'm here on the Starag Tornos stand with Arno. Now, I'm very familiar, and maybe you are too, with some of the products from the Starag group, but we're here at Beam, and there's a collaboration or a partnership or a, a merging. How would you describe, best describe it that happened on this, in December 2023 between you two companies? Yeah, it's a merge. Huh? It's uh, clearly a merge between uh, Starag and Tornos to create the Starag Tornos group, like you say, from the 8th of December 2023. Okay, now you're from the Tornos side, and what we're going to do is have a quick walk around the stand and see some of the machines that are on show. Uh, firstly, though, we're going to start with the Boomatech because yep. it's a machine that's very popular amongst our audience and, and, and will be here at the show as well. Uh, just how capable is this machine, Arno? I mean, it's almost capable of everything. I, I always call it the Swiss knife. Yeah. Okay, well, let's move back this way a little bit so the camera can, can come in here. If you come this way, Arno, and the, um, you call it the Swiss knife, that means it can basically do... Anything you want to do? Anything, anything. I mean, if we see the example that we have here, we have a machine having roughly nine, maximum 90 tools. Yeah. Uh, it has a spindle, um, I mean, the high speed milling spindle. It has the capacity to work with bars or not. Uh, so for me, it's the best milling machine that we can find in the world. I mean, of course, you have capacities. Let's say that uh, the parts that we can make with this machine are parts that you can handle in your hands. Uh, we don't speak about big, big, big motors casting, for example, and etc. But I mean, for the size, it makes. Uh, well, I, well I've, it's, I've seen, I mean, if we take a look at some of these parts, and the camera might be able to get a shot of these. I mean, this is a classic example of the of the machine's capability and the types of parts that they make. I mean, I was fortunate enough to go to Vladin's in Switzerland uh, not so long ago to see these machines made. But you, this just illustrates, doesn't it, the, the what, you know what it can do. I mean, it illustrates some of the example and the example that we will find in our region. So that means Spain and Portugal, where you have the luxury goods, so jewelry uh, uh, in general, watchmaking, but also the medtech, dental, that is a big market for us here in Spain, for example. Would you call it a milling machine or a turning machine? What would it? It's, I would call it a bar milling machine. Okay, now this is half of what we talk about, which is the, the merger. Let's move this way, Arno, and look at... Um, some of the machines that are here on show then from uh, when, it come, when it comes from, from the Tornos perspective. Now, this isn't a new machine, is it? But you've done something pretty different here that often people might not see at trade shows. Yeah. So what we see here is a SAS 16 Plus. The, the, it's a multi-spindle machine, camera created. The, this type of model is produced in Tornos since uh, 1959, uh, uh, with also different other brands that we purchased in the in the in the history of the of the group but what we do here is a totally refurbishment of the machines and an upgrade yeah so it's part of our sustainability program and uh, these machines are still uh, today highly capable for some application and the fastest in the world no, if, no, you say faster i mean this is like a, it's a cam cam machine isn't it exactly. but it's, it's just turning it's just turning yeah yeah and, it, and the machine originally, you're talking what, 1959, did you say? So yeah, that's the where. Design. The design is from the late 50s. So why would someone want to do this rather than buy a new machine? Because, first of all, I mean, Tornos is not producing this camera created machine anymore. Huh? And uh, it's uh, quite difficult to find scrapers, you know, nowadays. So, and we have like hundreds of machines on the market. And it's pretty much more easy to rebuy machines and to refurbish them. The foundation are much more stable. Right? Okay, and now, this, this has six six spindles in there, and, yeah. and, and you have one tool on each spindle. Yeah, we have uh, six spindles in there. You have uh, uh, then one slide per position, and uh, of course, you have a back operation spindle. Okay, let's move on to the next one because, again, this, the, there's three machines here from, from Tornos. Um, the first one we've seen there. The, the second one, again, this is a, a similar example. If you just stand, come, come this uh, up. Yeah, in fact, I'll come to you, Anna. This is a similar example, then, again, of a machine that you've refurbed. I mean, everybody knows the Deco 10. This is what, like a 90, 1990s machine? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, the, the concept is from the late 90s, 97 exactly. Uh, one of the biggest success of Tornos because this type of model have been sold to roughly 10,000 units in the world. And uh, that was one of the, I mean, the only uh, Swiss type machine CNC between uh, the 90s and the early 2000s. I mean, that was the biggest success of Tornos in the history. And today, also with the same program of sustainability, we are proposing the model from 97, totally refurbished, but with a new CN and with a new grazing system. 
OK, now will this be as capable as modern machines, as accurate, as, as fast? Where, where, is there any disadvantage to doing what, what you've done here? No, 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 no. And the, the biggest advantage is clearly the price. Huh? Because, I mean, if you compare it to the, to the new evolution that we did of these products, such as Evodeco, Evodeco has a little bit more capabilities technically, but also the price is a little bit higher. And of course, I mean, with this, you can have a reliable product that the customer knows already with the program coming, with the tools that they have already. And finally, you keep the precision and the know-how. Okay, so we've gone and, and looked at what would be two refurbished machines. We're now going to look, Arno, at what is one of your latest developments uh, on the Tornos side. Now this is the, the Swiss, and let me look at the XT32. So this was launched at Emo, I believe, last year. Um, I, can, I can barely hear this machine move. It's gliding, it, 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 you know. Explain what this machine is and how advanced it is and why this is of interest to companies. So this is our newest development, uh, and I think it will be the biggest success of Tornos in the next uh, two to five years. We have a double slide machine, uh, XY, XY, uh, X1, X1, um, Y1, and... Uh, I mean, there's a lot going on in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have also an independent Z because it's the nine axis version that we present here. We have this machine available in 16, uh, 25.4, one inch, and uh, uh, 32 millimeter. Okay. With uh, then the back operation that is on the three axis, and 14 position of tool available, uh, but um, I mean, with the interference, you can probably use between eight and 10. Yeah. I mean, it, I, I mentioned at the start, it, it, it sounds like it's just gliding, it's very quiet. It, there's, there's, I know it's not actually cutting anything, but even the movement of all the axes, it, it just looks so smooth. Because, you know, it's a tornos machine and we pay really attention to, in general, the ergonomy, the security, the noise and the wow effect. Huh? So if you compare a machine that is 30 years and a machine from now, everything has been studied. So, I mean, it gives you the impression that it's rigid, quiet, and actually it is rigid and quiet. I mean, it's a, it's a monster, right? It's a monster. And how would you then finally describe this merger, this partnership between these two brands? I mean, is there any crossover? Is there any conflict of interest anywhere? How does it work and how has it worked so far yeah, for you? For me personally, I think that it's just positive because, I mean, we are learning a lot of things. Uh, also, I mean, you know, there are more specialists in milling. We are more specialists in turning with the Bumotec brand, for example, from the Starak Tornos group. And it's just positive. We are learning, working together, and we don't see that much crossover. Usually where Tornos is going, Bumotec, for example, is not going. We don't have the same uh, type of uh, project. We have the same customers, but not the same type of project and possibilities. So it's just... Uh, a win-win situation, 100%. Great stuff, thank you Arno. A really exciting development in the machine tool world. Two amazing brands now merged and together. Uh, Starag Tornos. Okay.